Chaucer, Langland, Douglas, Dunbar, with all your brother Anans. How on earth did you ever manage without anesthetics or plumbing in daily peril from witches, warlocks, leopards, the holy office, foreign mercenaries burning as they came, to write so cheerfully with no grimaces of self-pathos. Long-winded you could be, but not vulgar. Body, but not grubby. Your raucous flittings, sheer high-spirited fun. Whereas our makers, beset by every creature comfort, immune they believe to all superstitions, even at their best are so often morose or kinky, petrified by their gorgon egos. We all ask, but I doubt if anyone can really say why all age groups should find our age so repulsive. Without its heartless engines, though, you could not tenant my bookshelves on hand to delect my ear and chuckle my sad flesh. I would gladly just now be turning out verses to applaud a thundery, jovial June when the Judas tree is in blossom, but am forbidden by the knowledge that you would have wrought them so much better. <laughs>